everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you're new here, press that subscribe button. Can't say who How are we all doing today? Today I'm going to be reacting to a request to react to the aftermath of Kabbalah. I hope I said that right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Let's get into this one and see what this one is like. On the 10th of Muharram in the year 61 after Hijra, the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad, Hussein ibn Ali, was brutally martyred in what is known as the Battle of Karbala. But what happened to the remaining women and children of his family? And what events took place after the Battle of Karbala? After the Battle of Karbala, Yazid's army, led by Amr bin Sa'ad, plundered and dismembered the bodies and raised the head of Hussein and his companions onto spears. The tents in which the women and children were residing in were looted and set ablaze. Among the remaining family members were Zainab and Umm Kulthum, the granddaughters of the Holy Prophet, and Ali Zain al Abidin, the last remaining son of Hussein. Ali Zain al Abidin was severely ill during the Battle of Karbala, and though he wished to fight alongside his father, was unable to do so. The family members, including young toddlers, were shackled in chains and paraded in the nearby city of Kufa, where they were presented to Yazid's governor, Abedullah ibn Ziyad, in his courtyard. Ali Zain al Abidin delivered a defiant speech in the face of Ibn Ziyad and reminded the people of Kufa that they had pledged allegiance to Hussein. Ibn Ziyad turned towards Zainab and asked her what she thought about what God had done to her family, to which she famously responded, I saw nothing but beauty. These are people on whom martyrdom is written. They went where God wanted them to go. God will gather you and them on the day of judgment. Then you will see what God does to you on the day of judgment. Shortly afterward, the family members of Hussein were marched on a perilous journey from Kufa to Damascus. It is said that several of the younger children on this journey died on the route from the harsh conditions and ill treatment of Yazid's army. The family were paraded in several towns along the route and were often humiliated and assaulted by bystanders. The exact dates on how long this journey lasted are unclear, but many historians believe it was around two months after Muharram in which the family of Hussein finally arrived in Damascus. Yazid had ordered for the city to be decorated and jubilant crowds had gathered to celebrate the capture of the prisoners. Years of propaganda by Bani Umayyah against Ali ibn Abu Talib and his sons had created an environment of hatred against the Prophet's family. While the family of Hussein were paraded in the market of Damascus, some historians note that bystanders attacked them with rubbish, stones and even hot water. The family were eventually gathered in the Umayyad mosque in front of Yazid to further humiliate and antagonize the family Yazid used a stick to poke the dismembered head of Hussein. Undeterred, Ali Zain al Abidin delivered a powerful sermon in the courtyard of Yazid to tell the people who he was in relation to the Holy Prophet, saying, O people, I am the son of Mecca and Mina. I am the son of Zemzem and Safa. I am the son of the man who rode the Barak to the end of the horizon and reached his Lord. I am the son of the one who prayed with the angels. I am the son of the one who received the revelation. I am the son of Fatima al-Zahra, the leader of women, and the great Khadija. I am the son of the one who was killed and covered with blood. I am the son of the one who was killed in Karbala. Upon hearing the speech, the people of the courtyard were moved. Yazid ordered his soldiers to place the family members of Hussein in his prisons. It is unclear for how long the family of Hussein were kept as prisoners, with some historians suggesting it could have been a matter of weeks, and others suggesting it could have been months. After their release, the family of Hussein traveled back to their hometown of Medina. Many people believe that the family of Hussein returned to Karbala on their way back to bid a proper farewell to the martyrs, though this is contested. Either way, Yazid's ambition to boost his credibility by killing Hussein had ultimately backfired. Word spread of his atrocities against the Prophet's family, sparking several uprisings against his rule, most notably by Abdullah bin Zubair in Mecca and Mukhtar al-Thaqafi in Kufa. Mukhtar is also famed for avenging the killing of Hussein. Every year, people from around the world mark 40 days from the day of Ashura, known as Arba'in. Millions of people participate in a walk to the holy city of Karbala to pay homage to the stand of Hussein. Sorry about that, that's my um, dog. That was very sad. I love watching stuff about history and taking it all in and, you know, just listening to it. Um, that's why I really don't say anything during the stuff. But yeah, that was a very sad story. If you guys want me to react more to them, comment down below which ones have a link. I'll get to as soon as possible. Sorry for the barking and the growling. It was my dog. Um, 
But yeah, anyone else you want to react to, comment down below for the link and I'll get to it as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Press like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any uploads.